Today, I want to talk about story as your business is currently an ongoing story. It is a story in progress. And the customers that you work with, the customers and clients that you work with, are the protagonist of that story. It's still happening, your story. It's not something done from the past that we're reporting on. It's still happening right now. How do you capture that in your marketing? Because if you can, that's the kind of story that gets people engaged, all right? Clarify the story. The only thing anybody wants to know when they first encounter your story is, what do you do and how will that help me? That's it. And now you probably already know this, but is it all reflected in all of your marketing? Can someone talk about what you do instantly and, and, uh, and, and so they understand what you do instantly and talk about it and repeat it? Or is it difficult? If the first words out of your mouth when someone asks what you do or what your business is, is it's sort of complicated. <laughs> well, everyone's already bored. Sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> It can't be complicated. It has to be simple, and it has to relate to them, okay? So we know this by, by, just, by just speaking in client customer-centric terms all the time and speaking to their emotional needs all the time, you'll rise above half the competition right there. But the first thing to consider when you start to apply this to your business is who is your main character? And of course, that is who is your main customer, who is your key client, and try to zero in on really who they are, like what, what position is it? Who's the main person that you're aiming for to engage with your services? And what do they want? What do they want? And here's the thing, I've worked with people now enough to know that what they usually, when I ask this question first, what does your, what does your uh, key client want? They just want it cheap and fast. They want it done cheap, and they want it done fast, and they want it done really well. And I say, no, okay, yes, of course they want that, but let's dig a little deeper. What do they really want? What does success really look, what, is, what wakes them up in the morning? Not you, not you and your service. Something else wakes them up in the morning too early and going, that they're worried about. That's where their, the, the answer to what their success is lies there. You got to dig a little deeper than they want it cheap. So think about this for a moment. Your key client, who are they? And what do they want? What do they want? And what's in the way? And if you start to think about that and write it down, you can then say, okay, now, of course, you are the guide. How do you understand their problem? If it is not apparent that you have empathy for their problem, again, they're going to check right out. They got to know that you actually understand from your own experience, from something in your demeanor that tells them that you understand, something that gets them to know this is a person I can trust actually knows what I'm going through. And then not only do you, do you empathize and understand, but you actually have a plan. So you have the authority to say, now I understand and I know how to get you from where you are right now along to where you want to be, which is success. And then we have, we get them to success and we avoid failure. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's how the same exact formula that works for Jaws, or Romeo and Juliet, or any classic story that really has stood the test of time, that same formula can apply to how you see your whole business, not just the history and not just the case studies.